guys, this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now, this time, we're going to be looking into the 15th episode of the third season of The Muppet Show, which features Leslie Ann Warren. Now, for those of you who may not know who Leslie Ann Warren is, she is renowned as an actress and a singer, but specifically, she is known to be a multi-award-nominated actress. Uh, first off, she was actually nominated for an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in Victor Victoria in 1982. And then afterwards, she was nominated for an Emmy Award and also nominated for several Golden Globes. But she actually did manage to win one of them uh, for Best Actress in the Drama Series for the miniseries Harold Robbins 79 Park Avenue. She has also appeared in numerous of other TV shows. Some of these include Desperate Housewives, Will and Grace, and Mission Impossible. Now, going into the episode that she appeared in, it was actually quite interesting, I must say, because there are some elements that are not really that great, like they're just more eh. But for those elements that do work, they work extremely well and let me start off by getting into those aspects now what really works with this episode is the storyline that has to do with the great gonzo basically what happens is that gonzo has this act that he wants to do where he has this motorcycle and he wants to ride it up and like fly over everybody and land at the box where statler and waldorf is so that's basically his whole plan but at first he kind of screws it up and throughout the episode you see little bits and pieces of Gonzo trying to fix up a bit of his motorcycle try to know how it works and basically try to get his entire act together in order to achieve this crazy stunt and honestly this is probably the first time in the Muppet Show where we fully see Gonzo uh, being his more daredevil side uh, during the past seasons, like season 1 and season 2, we kind of see a little bit of this transition of Gonzo starting out as this really abstract artist that nobody really understands, and at the end he always calls everyone in the audience yokels, rubes, and all that kind of stuff. But slowly but surely, he kind of adapts into the daredevil that we know, and this is the first one that fully embraces Gonzo's daredevil side uh, beforehand gone like even in season two that aspect really wasn't shown much like it was more seeing Gonzo as a character than anything like it like at the most we would see Gonzo's love for chickens in season two that would be the whole theme of it but in here this is where we really see the Gonzo that we end up loving and uh, pretty much recognize throughout his entire history. We see him as the crazy daredevil who loves chickens. And this is what, this is probably the first episode that fully embraces his daredevil side. And it's really a lot of fun to watch because it is absolutely hilarious to see how Gonzo would make uh, his little transition, trying to find ways to tweak his little uh, motorcycle just to go and get this act to work and it's a lot of fun and you get a lot of these crazy zany moments that are highly enjoyable I've had some good laughs with it uh, definitely a great highlight of this episode really a lot of fun and it truly shows um, like this side of Gonzo that we really do recognize uh, but for the aspects that don't necessarily work, surprisingly, I would have to say that the weakest aspect of this episode would have to be the special guest star, Leslie Ann Warren. It's just that she doesn't necessarily bring anything new to the table. She's more of your typical singer guest star. Um, she's, she doesn't really appear in any like comedy skits or anything like that. She's mostly presented of who she is as a singer more than anything. So there really isn't uh, no, anything much special in here. Like it actually starts out with uh, Leslie and uh, apparently the big creature, he has a name and it's called Dog, Dog Lion. So basically 
It's Leslie and Dog Lion doing a ballet of Beauty and the Beast. And um, afterwards, we see her once again in this uh, little number. I feel like it doesn't necessarily know what it's trying to be. Like, it starts out with Leslie, with Marvin Suds, and uh, the Muppet Phones. And then suddenly, it just... Everything interrupts, and it's suddenly... Like, the entire mood is switched with Rolf on the piano with Leslie singing just the way you are so pretty much you got this weird little comedic skit and then suddenly uh switch back into like being this tender moment which like it doesn't feel like it, it has this sense of direction like it wants to start out with a comedy skit and then suddenly just switch into that it's like a change of tone that feels a bit out of place and Overall, it just feels like the the entire skit itself doesn't really have a sense of direction if it wants to be more comedic or if it just wants to keep, you know, the, the subtle good, like, you know, the calming tone, like one of those numbers that's meant to be more of a break from the zaniness, like a time to tone down and relax. So uh, that, that little bit doesn't really have a sense of direction. And then at the end, you got Leslie singing Let's, Dan Let's Dance with uh, a lot of the other Muppets and mostly serenading to Link Hogthrob. Now, I'm not saying that Leslie was bad in this. It's just that she I, I just feel like she doesn't necessarily offer anything new. This is mostly what we would usually get in the Muppet Show, like we would get those dance numbers, we would get those little musical numbers. It's just that I feel like she's more of the generic guest star that doesn't really offer anything new. And considering like she does all these different things, it doesn't really show who Leslie Ann Warren is. The most that they try to do to make it stand out is tr like they don't do this a lot, but. They try on and off to make uh, a gag out of her name with Leslie Ann Warren by mentioning like other random Muppets coming in saying that they're Leslie and Warren. So I would say that Leslie Ann Warren is not necessarily the strongest suit in here. She's not necessarily the best guest star that would stand out. If anything, she would blend in with all the other uh, singers and dancers and it doesn't really tell me who Leslie Ann Warren really is, like what her talents actually are, like if she's more of an actress, more of a dancer, or stuff like that. It just, I, I, I mostly feel like she's just a more generic guest star in The Muppet Show. Uh, but other than that, I will say there are some other skits in here, and they're actually pretty good. Uh, almost as good as the Gonzo bit in here, I would say. Uh, there's the pig, the pigs in space with the Dumbo rays. Uh, that one is more silly than anything, but, you know, it did give me a smile. It is actually pretty funny. That and also, and there is this, uh, little bit where Dr. Teeth would sing the song, uh, Mac the Knife, and then... Sam the Eagle comes in and he doesn't approve of anything that's going on with Dr. Teeth. But what's actually really funny is how Dr. Teeth tries to outsmart Sam by saying how the song is this entire allegory of how a man is buying his wife pillows. When in reality, it's about a shark. Uh, but, but yeah, it's actually really funny. You know, it's actually really nice. It's really cool. I highly enjoyed it. So. Overall, I would say that this is a pretty good episode. Not great, but definitely good. There are some aspects that do stand out, that do make it highly enjoyable. Uh, the element of Gonzo, where we first see him as his daredevil self, is a lot of fun. It, it is highly enjoyable to see him uh, try to do all these different skits with his motorcycle. Definitely enjoyable, definitely great. Uh, some of the other bits as well are actually a lot of fun, like the Pigs in Space episode, and also uh, seeing Dr. Teeth singing Mac the Knife. But I would have to say that the weakest element is Leslie Ann Warren. If they brought in a guest star that actually does stand out more, someone who would actually really portray their own unique talents, kind of like in the last episode with Harry Belafonte, 
this would have legit would have been one of the best episodes in the season. It would have been absolutely fantastic. But my issue is not really that Leslie Ann Warren was bad in here. She was she did a good job. It's just that she feels more like a generic guest star and that she just blends in with uh, most of the other singers and dancers and all that stuff. It just doesn't really tell me about what makes Leslie Ann Warren so unique from all the other guest stars that appeared here in The Muppet Show. So definitely a good episode and there are some moments that are absolutely worth watching. But honestly, not the best. But, you know, I still had a good time overall. But anyways, that is pretty much it with this episode of the Muppet Vlog. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully in the next episode, the special guest star will stand out. But we will only know until next time. So see you later, dudes. Thank you.